I'm back. I know it's been a while and I've missed all of you guys. I want to thank you guys who have been supporting this channel even though there hasn't been much content recently. Um, I have been um, getting messages and I've been having some awesome discussion with some of you guys who have messaged me and who have shared their stories. I just think it's amazing. Um, all the love support I've gotten just based on like getting on YouTube one day and just telling the world how frustrated I am with my period and how doctors suck sometimes and just to advocate for yourselves. So I'm glad that I've been able to help so many people and so many people felt inspired to um, talk to their doctors and talk to their family members and talk to other women about these issues that we deal with. I'm posting this video because I wanted to provide an update. I get asked all the time um, where I've been, what's going on. I've also actually ran into a follower um, in Brooklyn, if you guys know, I'm located in, in New York City, so, um, I actually have a follower who found me on the street, like, she's like, you look so familiar, do you have a YouTube channel? And I was just like, oh, wow, like, so, I, I didn't know how popular this channel was and how well received it was until that moment happened, so I, I knew I had to definitely get back and touch base with you guys. Um, the reason why I haven't been on here so much is because I did have had some <laughs> major life changes. I'm still in New York City, um, but a little bit after um, my last video, I had changed jobs, um, I had ended a relationship, and I had went through this amazing weight loss journey that I'm definitely going to share with you guys. Um, if you want to know more about it, definitely like and subscribe so you can get that update video. So, um... I went through this weight loss journey um, a little bit after I posted um, the last few video videos about my um, my heavy periods. I actually ended up losing about 85 pounds now. It seems crazy. Like, I've lost a bunch of weight, but I'm just like, I don't feel that much different. I definitely feel healthier, but it's just like, I go back and I look at my, my videos from before, and I'm just like, wow, like, I was actually carrying 85 pounds. It's like a very tiny person still person so um I'll tell you guys how I've done that I've been able to keep it off now for a while it's been a year um since that's happened and I'll again share with you guys I'll just give you guys a tip I, I started with a traditional way of losing weight um traditional way I had lost about 60 pounds I was having a lot of trouble keeping off the weight so I would gain and re and lose gain and lose um I think now in hindsight, you guys already know my journey with the heavy periods and things like that and the hormones. I think a lot of the issues I had with my hormones and the heavy periods had to do with my weight. The fact that my weight was fluctuating, going up and down, but mostly gaining a, much, uh, a lot of weight, especially towards um, when I was reaching 30. Um, and so I'm just like, you know what? This is not healthy. Um, I saw myself going down a dangerous road. I did not want to go on. Um, it just wasn't for me. So... Surprisingly, I found someone on YouTube, um, a doctor who I reached out to, and she's one. Of, it turned out that she's one of the best doctors in New York City. I didn't know that. Um, luckily, she takes my insurance, and I met up with her, and I decided to have weight loss surgery. So I know weight loss, even though it's pretty, it's still not weight loss surgery. Is still not very common. Um, I had to do a lot of research on whether or not I wanted to do this. And I felt like after doing all the research, after reading all these case studies, you guys know me, I'm like the case study queen. That's how I found out about these heavy periods, how they cure those, y'all. But <laughs> anyway, um, after after doing the, the due diligence and the research, I decided that the best option for me at the time to like get myself at a good place of losing weight and to put myself in a, in a place where I can have long-term success. Remember, I had lost weight traditionally on my own with no help. I was able to lose uh, about 65 pounds without any help, but long-term success, meaning that I don't fluctuate in my weight and I could just gradually lose it for a long duration of time, I decided that the best option for me would be the sleeve surgery. Um, and I will definitely tell you guys more about that in a later video, and I definitely want to share with you guys why I did that, why I did it, what was the result of it. Again, since I've had the surgery, it's been one year and two months, and I'm down 85 pounds. I was down close to 90, 95, but then COVID happened, and my weight loss slowed. And also, I'm also <laughs> I'm just gonna put this out there. I'm in a very lo a very loving relationship right now too, and um. That didn't help. The whole love pounds is real. Um, and just all of that. So, again, I'll tell you about that in the, ne in the next video. Just want to let you guys know that I am here. And um, 
As far as an update on on my periods, um, I will say this. When I was having the irregular periods and when I talked to my girlfriends about their cycles, I have many friends, like now that I'm in my early 30s, I am 31 years old now. Now that I'm in my th now that I'm in my 30s, um, a lot of my friends are at the age where they want kids, and so surprisingly, a lot of them have come to me. Even though I have no kids yet, you know, I'm very traditional, waiting for marriage. But um, they come to me and they tell me like things about their cycles and what's happening to them because they knew about my journey with just having irregular hormones. Um, I have friends who right now their periods are very irregular, just like me. My periods were very irregular when I was heavier. Um, and the ones who have the heavy bleeding, I remind them that anemia is probably the major cause for the, for the crazy bleeding. And I, t I tell them about the iron pills. Um, but for me, after I had the heavy bleeding and all, and went through that whole traumatic experience with doctors trying to figure out what was going on with me, um, I did the iron therapy as prescribed, as I mentioned in my other video. I'll link it down below if you guys haven't seen that video about the heavy periods. Um, but what really helped me was a year later, and as I went through this weight loss journey, just getting my weight stabilized. Because what it is, is when you're, a lot of times when it comes with heavy periods, it's a whole body hormonal imbalance that causes these changes. And it's really hard to have these conversations with doctors when you go in and you're just like, you know, you're in a desperate state, you don't know what's going on with you, and doctors will just look at you like, well, you're fat. And that's it. And it's like they don't give you any tools. They don't tell you about nutrition. Like, I really had to do, again, the due diligence to figure out what was best for me. What can I do to have long-term term health and wellness? And it's awesome for girls who, you know, just pursue it naturally and able to keep up with me. I, I, because I had reached a certain weight, once you reach a certain weight, your body's hormones get so out of whack, it's hard to maintain weight loss because you are you're producing hormones that are making you gain a bunch of weight even when you lose it those hormones are still there the hormones in your gut are still there and it's telling your body that you need to eat more and once I understood that once I understood that you know this this battle is a battle that cannot win unless you have weapons unless you have tools on your side um then it was a lot easier for me to make the decision to have weight loss surgery um and now that I it's been a year out I did not do a a journey of videos because I wanted to make sure that I was successful before I start telling, oh, you know, go get that, knew that, and you only one month and two months in, and you don't even know if you're going to be successful or not. It's been a year, and I've, had, and I've lost 85 pounds, and I still have a, a longer journey to go, but, you know, not freaking out about it. the fact that it was a super simple thing. I was in the hospital a day. My family came out because I was so freaked out. My family came, and my best friends was there. Um, again, I'll tell you guys more about... Um, my weight loss journey and the weight loss surgery in another video for me it was super super safe it was super awesome i'm glad i did it i think most people who've had the weight loss surgery always say they glad they, they're glad they did it um it's been a year and um the major difference as i feel is that i don't um struggle with my eating i'm able to regulate a lot more i'm able to control my portions a lot more i don't have cravings um i just feel normal like i feel like a normal person. I'm still fat, you know, 85 pounds on a person who, you know, pushing 300, you're still going to be fat. But I'm in better state. My hormones have regulated my periods. I'm able to track them on an app called Flow. And I track my periods. They're not paying me, by the way. I'm just mentioning it. I track my periods and it comes on schedule like clockwork and they're not heavy. They last five to six days and they're normal. And that deals with me just having um, a regular balance hormones now in, in my body. Um, I do want to share my weight loss journey with you guys, so stay tuned for that next video. But just to update you guys, lots of changes. Um, I have regular periods now because of the weight loss. I went through a whole um, health journey where I had to figure out what was going to help for me and just being overweight was one of the major things I needed to, to tackle on to get to a healthy place. So I went through that journey. Um, I met the love of my life, and that's been a really awesome um, experience, too. And hopefully I can get him on a video with you guys so you guys can meet him and I can share that story with you. I think that would be pretty awesome. 
And um, New York City is going through some crazy stuff with this pandemic and COVID. And so it's very important that we stay healthy the best that we can. Um, social distancing, not going to different parties and things like that. I'm still in the epicenter. It looks like maybe Florida might be the next epicenter center because everyone's going down there. I don't know why. It's hot everywhere, y'all. Y'all, we don't need the beaches in Florida. Just leave Florida alone right now. But I feel like that will be the next epicenter. But um, I know it's like a lot of things are going on right now. And like, there just needs to be a focus on health. And I just realized that this might be a great time to just come back and really shine a light, especially for women's health and what we can do to stay healthy during all these crazy times. So I want to thank you guys for taking this journey with me. I'm excited to see what happens next. Please like and subscribe. All right, thank you guys. Bye.